Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. So today we are in Lakewood Ranch, which is in Bradenton, Florida. And we're gonna show you this three bedroom, three and a half bath home with 3,200 square feet of living. Now, this is actually a new construction home. So if you're interested in this, you can build it. The base price at time of shooting is gonna be in the 800s. But as you see it here, it was gonna be a little bit over 1.2 million. We don't have the exact price, but with uh, all the different changes going on, probably between 1.2, 1.3 million um, dollars for this home. So before we go inside, I wanna tell you that this has some really cool features. It's won a couple of awards. And a couple of the things that I really liked about the home is the first thing is the laundry room believe it or not has a really cool little area for uh, giving your dog a shower and then also the primary bedrooms uh, sh uh, bathroom that area is absolutely amazing too some really cool features in there so let's go ahead and talk about the outside of the house and then we'll take you on the tour of the inside so as we come up we do have this really nice paved driveway and then as we come here the actual pavers change in color so we have a lighter wh whiter color and then we go into this dark gray color um, right here that has a perimeter all the way around that really gives a cool little feel to the house now over here we do have a three car garage you have a two car garage with a one car garage with really nice carriage lights of course we have the slate roof and then all the nice landscaping all the way around we have palm trees magnolia trees gardenia trees hibiscus bushes out here and then of course the decor so we have the wind three windows over here that's where the actual primary bathroom shower is you'll see that that's amazing and then we have these two blinds here these two blinds are over the office and of course the entryway which is a really tall entryway with the same sort of blue blinds up there and then of course we have one over here so let's go ahead and go over by the entryway and go inside but before we go inside we'll talk about this door this door is a very substantial door um, it's easy to open and close but you can feel the weight in it as you do it so you know it's good quality and of course you have the the glass here and I'll show you a neat feature about the glass when we go inside and of course all this iron work here with the little flowers going all the way up to the top so let's go ahead and go inside and I'll show you the rest of this home hey everyone welcome to this beautiful home here in Bradenton, Florida, Lakewood Ranch. So we are here in the entrance of this home and I wanna talk a little bit about the entrance before we go any further. So as soon as I walk in, I am stepping on some engineered hardwood flooring. It's a beautiful flooring. It goes out throughout most of the homes. The bedrooms have some carpet in it. Uh, and then above me is this beautiful chandelier. Uh, we also have tray ceilings with a couple uh, crown moldings going around. And then behind me is a really cool feature. It's actually this door. And you look at this door and you don't seem like you have much privacy. But if you just press this button here, then all of a sudden you have privacy. So if you have someone that comes and you don't really want to see them, you just hit that button and then they're gone. Or if you want to say who it is, you just hit it again and then you're able to see outside. I think that's a really neat feature, something I haven't seen before. I've seen it on TV, but I've actually not seen it in person. So we've had a lot of fun playing with that today. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the family room area. So coming over to this family room, it's a nice size area. Of course, we have these nice sliding glass doors behind us. And then we look at this accent wall. The accent wall has the wood paneling going up. And then we have a marble baseboard area going here as well. And that really goes well with all the shelving. So we have the shelving. And the good thing about this, is if you haven't noticed, is the actual shelving actually comes out a little bit over the white wood paneling. And it actually goes all the way through into the outdoor patio area that we'll show you in a little bit. Now above me, we have these coffer ceilings. Um, that also have uh, lighting inside and also wood paneling. We also see we have our in-ceiling speakers and this beautiful chandelier above me that reminds me of a dandelion. We saw another one like that in a winter garden home that was over $5 million. So, um, so let's go ahead and show you the kitchen. The kitchen's got some really nice, nice features. So follow me this direction. So the first thing we see is we see this wine rack. And this is a pretty unique wine rack. We do have a wine fridge down here for all the wines that you wanna keep chilled. And this really neat storage area that you pull out and you can keep some wines down here also. Um, but the actual wine rack um, populates on the wall. It's a really cool display. I think maybe something that people would talk about that come over and see this. I think it looks really neat. And then we have our refrigerator. The refrigerator has the same color cabinet tree on the front of it that you see out throughout the rest of the kitchen and then of course you open it up and you have plenty of space for all your uh, fridge needs behind me is a microwave oven combo so we have our oven down below and then of course the microwave above and then really neat hall all high tech it is wi-fi so that's pretty cool 
And then let's go and talk about the rest of the kitchen. So coming along here, we see we have these nice countertops on either side. And then this side is gray. So they have the center island in gray, and then they have the other side in white, which is pretty common nowadays in homes. Now, this area right here, that's actually the dishwasher. So there's not a cabinet there. And then on this side, what we have to talk about is this backsplash. This is a very, very beautiful backsplash. One of the favorites I've seen in a lot of homes. I just like the designs and the light blues and grays and whites that are in it. Uh, we do have a gas stove range and then the air vent with this really nice woodworking over it. And of course it gets vented out. Here underneath the range, we do have a couple drawers. This one here is for all your spices. And then we have another one on this side. And this one here, we're not too sure what it is. It looks like you can pull this out, pull it back in. Um, so not too sure if anyone knows what that is. Make sure you put comments in below and tell us what it is. The sink is a farmhouse sink. It goes a little bit below the actual countertop, plenty of space, porcelain, and then of course the faucets and these lights that look over the actual kitchen counter. So. Continuing the tour, we do have the pantry. The pantry is behind this door. So we open it up and all these have the auto lights. So you have to walk in and then the lights come on. So that's pretty common throughout this home. Uh, lots of nice little upgrades in this home that make this home the luxurious home that it currently is. Here is the dining room. Dining room set up for eight people. It's obviously very, very spacious has these beautiful chandeliers above the dining room area. And then of course, above it, we do have these nice ceilings, similar to the family room where it is a, trace, a two tray ceiling with some nice woodworking. And then they have a nice gray color. The gray color also matches this accent wall here with this beautiful piece of artwork that of course makes this a really, really beautiful dining room to be in. And then behind us, are these sliders. Now these sliders, if you open these sliders up, they go all the way into the wall. So you can literally open up both of these and then you now have outdoor space indoors. So also awesome for Florida, especially when we have nice sunny days. So let's go and go to the back wing of the house and show you what we have over here. So this will be like a living room, game room, whatever you really wanna make it, study. Um, and as you can see, it's a nice space. Right now they have it set up as like a living room. We have plenty of seating area. And of course, this beautiful window that just gives so much light, such a big window. Um, and then above me, a beautiful chandelier. And then of course, the tray ceilings with the recessed lights within the tray ceilings. So let's go ahead and show you bedroom number two. Done this whole house so far and we haven't hit a bedroom. So we have one right there. But first of all, we'll show you the half bath. So here is the half bath. It has a really nice cabinet. I love the actual metal work on the uh, cabinet there. And of course it has these little sparklies in the countertop and this framed mirror. Above us on this home, what you'll notice is that in all the bathrooms, they have sort of like a half tray ceiling where they have the lights, recessed lights in one portion and then a little bit higher ceiling in other areas. So let's go ahead and check out bedroom two. This will be bedroom two. It's a really nice bedroom. This light above me, I have to talk about that first because it just sparkles as you walk around. They have three lights on the inside, but as you walk, all the little crystals give it a really sparkle. It's like a disco ball. And then of course we have the bed here. We have a window on either side of the bed to give you plenty of light. And of course, plenty of space for the base, uh, baseboard in between. And then this wallpaper, absolutely beautiful with like the Turk voices and olive green, greens in it. And then we have our closet right here. So, plenty of space. And of course we have the updated um, shelving in there and then the full bathroom. So this is a bedroom suite with a full bathroom. Now in this bathroom, we do have our vanity with really nice countertops and of course a frame mirror. And then behind me is a tub shower combo. And with this tile work that goes all the way up to the ceiling has like grays and blues through it. Um, really beautiful tile work. But everything in this home is really nicely done. We like to pick the homes that we enjoy filming. So the ones that we pick typically look pretty nice. So let's go ahead and follow me to the other side of the home where the other bedroom number three would be. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like this video. Really, really appreciate that. And also follow us on YouTube. We'll be posting new luxury homes all throughout the state of Florida each Monday uh, for you to watch and enjoy and see what you can actually purchase here in Florida. Or if you just like looking at homes, great place to do or get ideas for your actual home and, home and where you live. So here is bedroom three. Bedroom three is also very spacious, very similar to the other one. We have the windows on either side of the headboard like we did there. We have this wallpaper that's sort of like royal blue with silver. Uh, and then of course a chandelier above us, 
right here to this side is gonna be another walk-in closet that has the same higher end shelving. And then, of course, it's a bedroom suite. All the bedrooms here do have their own bathrooms and that will be here. So as we come over here, we move over from carpet back into tile and then we have the vanity, nice countertops and also a very similar framed mirror that we saw in the other um, bedroom, bathroom. So, but the only thing that we didn't see in the other one, this one's actually got a full shower and these are probably my favorite tiles in this whole house. Is it your favorite tiles too? Yes, it's our favorite tiles too. So um, they're really cool shape and they have blues and grays and whites in there. So really neat. We'd also have a little shelf over here for you to put your shampoos and things like that. So let's go this direction. And through this door here would be the garage. The garage is a three car garage. It also has a tankless water heater in it as well. And then we have the laundry room. Now the laundry room is really cool. It's one of my favorite features of this house. So let's come ahead and come into the laundry room. When you come into the laundry room, you go from the engineered hardwood to this beautiful tile. And then we see that we have our stacked washer and dryer. And then we have all these cabinets. We have cabinets with plenty of drawers for storage. We have this one here that's got a little whirly bird thing in there where you can actually swing it around all the way around and then gets back in place and then you can close the drawer back up and then it continues. But the cool feature, which I have seen before in some other houses, is this little dog bath here. We have Fido here taking a bath. We have a little shower and they have the actual same tile that we're stepping on on the floor. All right, so let's go check the rest of the house. Bye Fido. Let's go. So as we go over there, we still have the office to see and also the primary bedroom and of course the outside of the house. And if you haven't done also already, make sure you do subscribe to our channel. If you are interested in other homes, we do have other channels. We'll have those linked below. So here we come to the office. Now this office is in the front of the home. We do have actual pocket doors on either side. So you have your pocket French doors that's actually got the glass in there. And as you push it in, it actually has a soft close. That's really neat. And then we have these windows and of course you see the the blue blinds that you saw in the front of the house that really make the front of the house pop. And then we have this gray wallpaper going all the way around the room. And then above us, this chandelier, we also have some nice crown molding in this room. So nice little area where you can sit here, do all your office work. And then of course you have the view of the family room and the pool and the backyard. So follow me this direction. And here is the primary bedroom suite. You do have these mini French doors that open and close. And then we go, we go this direction and I'll show you the actual bedroom first and we come back for the bathroom because the bathroom is one of my favorite features too. So let's go this way and show you what we have down here. So we're gonna stop right here. We haven't got too far yet. And this is actually like a little coffee area. Uh, you can put some beverages in here if you need beverages to keep cool. We have the little fridge here. And of course we have cabinets. We have a nice shelf. And then we have shelves going all the way up to the top for all your cool decor. And then this really shiny uh, backsplash that goes on. now. We do have two closets. Both of them also have pocket doors and they are done with the, you know, they're all done up really nice. They're not, obviously they're not the wired rack. There's this very upgraded cabinets and we do even have lights. You can open it up. You can put anything you want here. And of course that also has a soft close. And of course it goes all the way around. So plenty of storage here, but that's one closet. This one's got some nice brown colors. And then we go down this direction and then we have this really cool mirror here that you can just wave at and be silly in. And then on the other side, we do have the other closet and this one's all done in white. So whoever likes white gets this one. Whoever likes the browner color goes in that one there, whatever you like. Um, we do have both. Uh, so that is really neat. Also the soft clothes. So let's go ahead and check out the actual bedroom. It is right here. So very, very spacious bedroom suite. So let's talk a little bit about this bedroom. The first thing, of course, that you're gonna notice is this window that goes all the way, nearly all the way up to the actual ceiling. And then above me, this beautiful chandelier. Now the roof on this or the ceiling on this is really cool. We, some things that we didn't notice right away when we came here, we do have the tray ceiling with the recessed lights on the tray, but there's also lights going all the way around the actual perimeter of the actual ceiling also. So that's really neat. We have this textured wallpaper on the wall here that gives you that different color for the different colors between the whites and the grays and blues. And then of course we have a door here going out to the outdoor living area and the pool. All right, so let's go ahead and check out that bathroom. Awesome, awesome bathroom. So follow me this direction. Let's go straight down here. 
and run down to the actual bathroom. Here is the bathroom, check this out. So we go from the engineered hardwood floors to this ceramic tile. Now, the one thing about this bathroom that I thought was really neat is that they have floating ceilings with LED lights around it, as you see here. And then, of course, we have this beautiful tub um, jacuzzi tub that's here, uh, pedestal tub that's here. And of course we go to even a different ceramic tile on the actual walls. They get all the way up to the ceiling with the actual light window up there for the, for the natural light. And then look at this shower. This shower is absolutely beautiful. We have our entryway right here. And then we come in and we go into these little square ceramic tiles that little shimmer in the light. And then either side, this side here has a bench and then also a shelf to put whatever you need, your, your soaps or whatever. And of course, your shower heads. And then we have a very similar situation on the other side where we have a handheld shower and also the actual shelf. Behind me are three windows, as you can see. You can see out and see the palm trees and the beautiful skies. And then on this direction, we have our dual sinks, all very high-end cabinetry, as you can see here. The cabinet is actually Cambria cabinets. Uh, and then these mirrors are outstanding with the actual design of the mirrors goes really good with the wallpaper. So over in this direction, we have our water closet. Um, and then we have even more shelving here where you can do some storage, it even has a shelving that pulls out. So everything really, really high quality. And we only have one thing left to see, and that's the pool and outdoor area. So I'll meet you out there. So here we are outside in the pool area. Now I do want to point out that we do have some overcast skies today. We just finished the afternoon shower that sometimes we get here in Florida and we actually really, really need it because we had a couple weeks of just all sunshine and the grass does need some water. So that is actually a good thing. Now here is the pool. It's got a nice little jacuzzi, a little waterway going around the jacuzzi. And of course a pretty nice long pool uh, with these water fountains uh, all the way around. And then if we go this direction, we see we have a covered area and this covered area is where we have an outdoor eating area for six people. And then we have this barbecue outdoor kitchen. This granite is absolutely beautiful. And of course we have these cabinets and the barbecue, which actually has a vent going out, being that we are undercover here. Now, if I go this other direction, we'll see another like outdoor living room. Now this outdoor living room is like being indoors, outdoors here. Um, we have the same sort of wood paneling and even the marble that we saw inside in the family room continues out here. And of course we have the TV and also even those little uh, wood shelves have a little bit of a continuation out here, even though it's not a shelf. Now behind me is gonna be a sliding glass door and the sliding glass door actually goes all the way back. So all these panels, all four of these panels go and they actually go right behind here. Um, so they're all hidden. So this whole area is opened up. And of course, on the other side, uh, which goes into the indoor living area, we also have the sliders here that go all the way back also on either side. So you can open this whole area out. So you can have your dining room, family room, outdoor living area, outdoor kitchen, all under cover. And then of course, when I look up, they've done a really good job on the ceiling as well. We have a tray ceiling with really nice wood paneling going across on the outside of the tray ceiling recess light and this nice industrial fan out here. So that's this home. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you've done also already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do post really nice luxurious houses all throughout the state of Florida every week for you to watch. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.